Paula stayed home and raised their daughter, and that was something that they both wanted. But it created a lot of tension on the family because then they were simply trying to live on Chino's $13 an hour air conditioning repair job. There's like no milk. Well, we have to wait until we get your check to buy some food. And then one day he just didn't show up for work. Hello. Hi, this is Paula Gutierrez. Chino's girlfriend. Hi, Paula. How are you and the baby? Good. Um, I'm calling because I have some bad news. Chino won't be making it to work today because he's been arrested for shoplifting. I'm sorry. I, I hope you understand. I can't have him working here anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah I understand. The next day, he came back to that same employer and apologized thanked her for the help that she had given him. Hey. I came in to let you know how appreciative I am for the opportunity. You didn't need to come in here today and tell me that, Jim. Yes, I did. You tried to help me out. I'm sorry I screwed up. So he had this self-awareness, but he also had this self-destructive side. I think Chino was feeling pressure and feeling desperate. He had this family to support. He didn't have a role model of a father to give him advice and mold him during really critical formative years. And so he probably felt alone and that fueled his desperation.